Hello everyone. So I just wanted to show you what I what I did to this and what I used. Um, I just used Brasso and a rag, and that's it. I could have used a, a wire brush and polish and all that, but I wanted to leave the original character in it. I haven't touched the shackle yet, just to show you uh, the difference in color. The Brasso makes this thing a lot smoother to hold if you're going to hold it. And frankly, sometimes patina has a lot of just uh, dirt and gunk in it, you know. And if you're going to be handling a padlock a lot, it's uh, it's going to get your hands dirty and stuff like that. And it's really just a personal preference. I still kept... If you, if you sand it down and brush it down too much, you're going to lose all these original nicks and scars and stuff like that. Also, this brought, uh, cleaning it brought out the letters a lot more, and it showed me that this thing has a small, it has a crack that's going down here. It's not all the way, but I did not see that when it was dirty, so, or when it had the original patina, whatever you want to call it, when it was this dull brown color. See, now, that color underneath there, let me see if I can get this guy to focus, um, the color underneath here is not bad, but you've got you've got some surface grime and stuff. Now Brasso um, has ammonia in it, and it'll bring out, you know, it'll change the color a little bit, but it's not gonna make it super shiny. Anyways, that's just it's just a personal preference thing. Um, I tend to go with I didn't go with vinegar on this because of all the little. Uh, moving parts and stuff inside there and even though it won't hurt brass and stuff like that it might eat the paint off the numbers in there and stuff like that. you just don't want to soak it basically um and even a, a dremel with um a wire brush on it would leave scratches and crap like that so just a brass brush and just like polishing it you know like polishing silver or whatever they I don't think they do that anymore, but it used to be that's what they would do, polished silver. Um, but yeah, you just sit there and just clean it as much as you want. And I think it looks better. Um, it's not super shiny, but it looks better. It certainly feels better in the hand. And uh, I can tell the difference, you know, between this, this top of the shackle here. Now, I'll probably have to pick it open again just to, if I want to clean the top real well just to get underneath there to get the shackle out of the way and to get up underneath the shackle. But they're cool locks. Um, if you ever happen to run into them or anything, save up your money. Like I said, they're not cheap. And uh, that's probably, I don't know how easy any of this stuff is to find over in Europe or it's probably rarer than uh i was trying to say hen's eggs but you know <laughs> that's what hens lay is eggs so that wasn't a very good analogy anyways there you go that's just my um personal preference on uh patina and everything some locks i leave with their uh you know like this waterberry here it doesn't look bad on this guy solid brass pin tumbler i don't want to shine him up to this state you know, so, but on this particular one, like I said, he's kind of a showpiece case, or showcase, you know, type of a lock, uh, and it still has its character with its marks and everything else, but it's just cleaner, basically, it's easier to handle and cleaner, and it didn't change its color too much, other for them bringing out more of the brass look to it than the uh, dirt and grime look, but all a personal preference thanks for watching and happy picking everyone so i was gonna take a picture but i thought i'd just go ahead and make a video of the final results it's just using brasso and a rag and this thing is a lot smoother um it, like i said it also brings out if there would have been little markings or uh writing down here i wouldn't have been able to see them with the covering of uh patina and you can um, reintroduce that color if that's what you want. You know, I mean, you can clean it down to this uh, um, smoothness and everything. And then uh, put it in a vinegar bath with a little bit of salt. Not put it in there, but suspend it. 
uh, lockpicking Belfast, I believe, is the one that uh, mentioned that to us. How to how to give it that aged look if you want it again. Uh, but I like it like this. Uh, like I said, it's smoother. It's it's not as dirty and grimy. And uh, I haven't picked it open since then. I'm just going to leave it like that for right now. <laughs> I might do it for a stock lock Sunday or something. But it's a cool lock. And that's its final look now. Which is not bad. It, it Like I said, it, it looked like this. So I haven't gone super crazy with the... Uh, with the polishing or anything like that, but I have cleaned it up, and like I said, it feels really great in the hand now. Smooth and nice and shiny. Not too shiny, though. Not super shiny, but it's a lot better than what it was, I think.